Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. How are you doing today? I am back for another episode of the Resetting of the World. And my big haul is basically done, so we're going to get out of here. But first, I'm going to do a couple of quick little things to improve the area. And one of them is to go point point. Oh, actually, not to go boink boink. It's got to go plop, 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 plop. Notice no fizz fizz there. Plop, plop. Plop. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll go plop, plop. Plop. You know, I should do that with this one. I should put my helmet back on. I think I'm going to raise the other chest up a block, too. And raise this chest up a block. I think, let's just do that. No, let's not. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm not going to worry about you. Um, he spawned on probably that right there. Let's make it so he, they don't spawn again. I had that problem when I was redoing that door over there. I haven't redone that door yet. Haven't moved this over yet either. But let's just go up top. Oh, and thankfully it is day and let me show you I have three villagers here one two three yes I can count and what we're gonna do with said villagers is block them in I don't trust the the door on hard mode I'm gonna work on the villager breeder and I'm gonna place it here uh, maybe up in the air a little bit so I don't have to worry about mobs attacking it until it's done and I need a way to get mob drops, so I'm going to build oh, build a mob -a thingy. I'm pretty sure I have enough blocks to do it all. Because I have a little excess blocks down in my basement. Alright, so I have this compass in my hand. And it looks like I'm actually, I was just about to say, I'm going to go look for my spawn area, but look at the, what the compass is doing when I'm, like, going around in circles here. Wow! I think I am right at my spawn location. Let me see. Oh, well, maybe not. Let's find out exactly my spawn point. And you look at the compass... It's going to flip real quick when I pass the actual spawn point. Is this it? Where are you? Could this be the place? Oh, look at that. This looks like the place. So, I am going to mark this as a center of spawn. A certain amount of blocks that way. A certain amount of blocks that way. A certain amount of blocks in every direction. From here <clears throat> is my spawn location. I just kind of wanted to see how big it was. As a matter of fact, I decided against doing the markers and stuff right now to figure out my spawn point. So I got to figure out the exact point of my spawn. There's one co block corner that is the exact center. And <clears throat> I'm not going to figure it out right now. Um, I'll figure that out tonight in between recording sessions because I don't really want to do that on camera again but I do want to feed some of these piggies I want to get a good supply of pig meat because oh I'm giving little baby pigs bacon um, food too I don't really want to do that I don't know if it actually does speed up their growth if you give a baby animal any more food. I know for a little while it did, but I'm not sure if it still does. But we, since we were down in the ambient mines for so long, I haven't really kept up with um, my food supply and keeping all this stuff up to snuff. As you see, I don't have many extra carrots. Um, I have no extra wheat. When you play Minecraft and you have these types of farms and you want your world to continue to grow and 
<clears throat> prosper so you don't have to worry about blocks and so forth or food you need to do <clears throat> excuse me you need to do uh, these menial tasks on a regular basis just to make sure you have the goods and the products that you need to make your world strong and th as Paul Soares would say thrive and survive so I like thriving and I like surviving so I like to make sure my farms are good then feed the cows um, I'm at a serious shortage of cows right now because I killed them all <laughs> I have a couple of hundred I, I would say I have maybe three or four stacks of cow meat but I only used I only bred 15 cows there so that's not nearly oops where am I nearly enough for my happiness um, when I harvest the cows there's usually a hundred in there that's the digit I look for so I'm gonna continue farming and then I'm gonna um, start work on the villager breeder over there and I'll let you know what it looks like and see if it's working um, I gotta get lots of carrots because I like to feed my villagers carrots for some reason the wheat goes to the cows the potatoes can go to me the carrots can be shared between the pigs and the villagers so I'm gonna eat my dinner and watch a beautiful sunset oh yeah baby I gotta thank Lapis Demon for showing me this and the only problem I have and I see that uh, Slipgator fixed this because he has the same exact sunset as me um, he expanded the edge of the sky world farther down so when you're up high you don't see this cut off and that would be cool I would like to figure out how to do that but that's for another day so I'm gonna get to work over there and uh, be back so I did a little more work down here in my ambient mines I made this doorway and put it over there so now we have doorways on both sides that are similar if not exact uh, yeah I'll say they're exact most likely hopefully and I also uh, revved up this door a little bit I had spawns uh, spawning on top of the doorway so I wanted to add some light and to do that I kind of wanted to spruce it up a little bit more and I replicated it over there symmetry other than that no symmetry um, so and I also small stuff here okay I also raised my stuff up added a couple of more of those I think I showed that on camera and what am I doing with the hole here uh, ignore that ignore that so let's go to the breeding area let's go for a ride I'll fix that hole another time as it's not that important right now as you can hear my villagers are still in the corner there initially I was gonna put the breeder back there but I got some sleek shoes on today you can't see them you can't see them at all but those shoes they look like normal iron boots but they're more like boots of the traveler if you've ever played modded so let's go to my villager breeder and I'll show you what these boots can do here we go three two one that is right those are some amazing boots can't believe how fast they make me run they even work with boats too imagine that 
But yes, I decided to put my villager breeder out here in the ocean next to the temple, which I am going to raid, pillage, clean out, and make into a farm. But not anytime soon. Because my biggest fears with those big projects equals, oh, I hate Minecraft. And <laughs> uh, sometimes the challenge of doing a big project is awesome. Okay, I complain about this all the time. Big project, oh my god. But the relief of when I'm done with the big project is like, oh yeah, baby, I'm so glad I did that. That big, big projects are kind of fool's gold. They're really, they're, they're hard to do, but when they're complete, it's like, oh yeah. So I look at it as a challenge. I complain all of the time, but it's more of a challenge for me to finish them. And it's kind of like a game. So when I complain about big projects and saying how... They ruin, they can ruin your love for the game of Minecraft. Yes, they can ruin your love for the game of Minecraft. But you gotta not be afraid of clearing out a whole temple, even though it is a big scary project that's gonna be very mundane and boring. But I got plenty of blocks and all that other stuff. And that is for another day. And I also noticed, you see, whenever, I don't know if you can hear it, Whenever one of those guardians shoots, I can hear the noise all the way up here. So I was working on this, and I'm like, what is that, wind noise or something going on? And, um, no, it's not. It's the these guys down there shooting at each other, and it's like, oh, I should build this thing maybe a little bit higher up or a little bit farther away. But by the time I figured it out, this platform behind me was all done. And I'm just like, nah, screw it. I'll just deal with the wind noise every once in a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you see that little, the four half slabs and the half slab above it, that's where a villager sits. And that's kind of like the the breeder villager with the six doors. You've seen like Impulse FCs, you usually stick that underground. Same sort of deal. Except for I don't need any blocks on top of the doors because I'm outside. And hopefully that glass above me doesn't mess that up. So, um, then I made this behind me. Um... There's that wind thing again, and you see where the dispenser is. It's like right where the end of my sword is pointing. There's this dispenser. That is where the villagers will sit, and above it, I can give them food, and they'll breed. And when they're born, a villager is born. It goes into the two water streams. And look at the end of my sword. One, one water stream there, and one water stream there, and it brings it down to this place where the sign is. That keeps the water. There's a little dip there, and the little baby villager can uh, stay there where there's air to breathe. And when he grows up, he goes into the water stream, and he'll go up that water stream, then back to where the dispenser is and hang out with the other villagers. When I have 40 or so villagers there, um, I'm going to make it so there's an exit, and I'm going to find a place, probably right where I am, to collect the villagers, and I'm going to make a portal up here somewhere so I don't have to do that trip that I just sped up for you guys I mean I put on my boots of the traveler for survival minecrafts vanilla on and came out here real quick yeah 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 that's it nah <laughs> not lying there um so yeah and like I'm gonna apologize right away this is no different than what I've done before and my other single player let's play that I just destroyed the world it's kind of like doing the same exact thing uh, set up a little bit different but I am gonna make a mob spawner up here also so I can get some freaking arrows I don't know if you've noticed um, I've been running really low on arrows and I hate the fact I have to conserve arrows um, I'd rather kill things from a distance instead of close up close up you get bloody from a distance you don't have to see the blood so, yeah, I apologize that I'm redoing the build that I did in my other project, but I promise this is going to be one episode, it's going to be up, it's going to be done, and I'm not going to make that big glass tunnel down to the ground where things are going to splash. I'm going to make a different collection system down there, and um, 
I think I'm gonna make it over here behind me, kind of like next to this breeder because I don't want to get too close to that because that's a project in the near future, probably the next 10 or so episodes. Yeah, that's gonna take a lot of my time. There'll be lots of talky episodes when I'm doing that project because I'm not gonna be doing many things on cam with that. Of course, when I attack the place, I'll do it on cam, but I'm not gonna do it on camera when I'm you know, drying it out. That's the part that kind of sucks, is drying it out. But, man, the blocks in there, I would love to be able to use those blocks in my builds. Especially the sea lanterns. And if you know, I like sleep, Slip Gator, and that's his light of choice. Yeah. And when I'm done with this project up here, then I'm going to go and start doing some work instead of just talking to you guys. When I'm done with this project, I'm going to encapsulate it in something and right now I'm thinking of an eyeball a big circle of some sorts I said I was gonna do that in the other one I made but let me know what you think I'm thinking of actually recreating um, the eyeball from Terraria yes that's right don't play it but I like it well I don't play it for a camera but I'd like it so we might be getting a Terraria eyeball up here but let me know what you think how I should make it. I'm not gonna make uh, let this stuff stick out here in the world and look like a sore thumb. I'm gonna design it and make it look good and have everything on the inside of some sort of sphere or big building up in the sky. Uh, maybe even a floating island I can make up here. I do not know but those are ideas and things that I can think of in uh, a future episode. So let me get to work and I'll be back with you in a little bit, and hopefully things will be made. But maybe not, but most likely things will be made. All right, guys, a little change of plan. I've done a little work, and as you see, I'm in a new enchanting area that, why am I throwing blocks? That you guys haven't seen. And um, as soon as I ran into this thing, I immediately stopped my mob spawner build up in the sky near my villagers because I don't need that as badly now because of this find. And let me show you. There's a spawner. And you can hear the noise. And that noise is skellies. I finally found a skelly spawner. So my need for arrows <laughs> doesn't exist anymore. Or bones. What is in these? Oh, armor, bows. So now I have a good XP place. So I can just, you know, go up and one time hits. And I'm very happy about that. So the the need to <clears throat> build the farmer in the sky has basically I mean it will still be built but the emergency part of it being built is next to zero now so I'm not gonna worry about um, that spawner I'm not gonna make it this episode since I made this one and the main reason why I wanted to build the other one is was arrows and I don't need them so we have a change of plans basically skeleton spawners are like the only ones that if you find in the world that you should actually make into a mob farm zombie spawners um, are good for maybe XP, but not, you know, I don't even waste my time building a spawner out of a zombie one. Spider ones depends if you need the string or not for some project. Like the uh, thing that I'm building up in the sky, I actually went to my spider farm and farmed some spiders so I can get a whole bunch of string to make the dispensers because I needed 16 dispensers, which means... I needed uh, 48 string to make the 16 arrows. Every once in a while they, they see me and they want to shoot me, which is unfortunate, but 
whatever. So, uh, with this place, I have been able to fix some stuff. Um, this is my old pickaxe that I've been using my work pickaxe, just because it's efficiency 5 on breaking 3. The fortune is the... it's okay. But I don't need the fortune because I have the unbreaking 3, fortune 3, efficiency 4. And I got the efficiency, you know, the good shuffle. That made my bow, uh, I could up do the power to 5 if I wanted to, but most things one kill, one shot kills right now. And I don't have to worry about the arrows, so yeah, whatever. Um, I made the the boots, my feather falling protection and unbreaking. I gotta put death strider on these when I find them. And I made a good set of armor to put on for when I need it. And I got my silk touch pick. So that will help out a tremendous amount. And so I've been, you know, as you can see, hanging out here and doing some stuff. And I think there's a civil war going on. Come on, guys, behave. So I can do you, and I get the XP, not you guys shooting each other. So yeah, there's a couple of places I stand. It's it's not the best place in the world to stand, I guess. But it's not a big deal in my life, because I have a nice skelly spawner now. Which is a need for every world. So let me show you what else I've done. Because I was looking for the skelly spawner. Well, I wasn't looking for it specifically. Um, I was mining and I was trying to get some diamonds up and stuff. And I ran into it. There's a arrow to the skelly spawner. My sand pit, which is way out there. Um, I've been using that a lot. I'll show you what I've been doing with the sand pit. The fortress, I haven't been out there. Still got to make a... Um, something for the spawners out there the blaze spawners cooking up a whole bunch of stuff let me see what let me show you what uh, I have been doing where is it I got a double chest of sand and a double chest of glass and I'm um, burning up some cobble right now into stone one thing that's great about this little cooking area, and it's actually in my spawn chunk, so I can go to any part in this world and it will keep on cooking, which I am very proud of. Um, so, let me show you one more thing. Uh huh. We're up in the air. There is that thingy, Majiggy. And if you guessed right, all that sand and glass is to clear this out. I'm going to make a perimeter around there with sand. Then one block farther away, I'm going to make a perimeter of glass. Then I'm going to separate it into five by five sections, clean out the place after I destroy the... Wow, my, my frame rates go down when I look at that. 10 about one third that goes down but I'm gonna make a perimeter around it um, and with sand and glass the glass is gonna be the ultimate final perimeter and then once the perimeter is up around it I'm gonna go in and clear it out get rid of the elder guys and then get rid of all the water and get rid of the temple then make my thingy there that's gonna take forever and I'm not gonna focus on it I'm just gonna do a little bit each day on it uh, so I don't get burnt out on that because that is definitely a project to get burned on and I don't want to get burned on that um, so as you hear 
It's thundering. I got my villagers up here. Here's a breeder village. There's the other guy. And I have three villagers now because one baby already grew up. I've only been out here for a limited amount of time and already got one village. Uh, basically, once I got that set up, I put this platform here and the, the thing, uh, the portal. And in that time of making this platform and the portal, I got a village. So, I'm going to make a portal to go down there also. And, um, next episode I'm going to clear out some of this. Or at least set up some of the border around it, depending on how much sand is going to be taken for that. So this is my sand pit. As you can see, a ton of sand has been excavated from here. That's why you always want to make these things at a, in a desert far away from anything that you're going to want to do. Because it really does not look good. Um, but I have plenty of sand to get. I'm going to go in that direction and work around the lava pool. So, yeah. Been farming up a lot of sand. For the preparations of taking on that guardian farm, the surface like this, or if I'm going to just build something up in the sky. Because it is kind of dangerous, and you know, here's a good thing. I come out of here and go, whoa! And I could just fall over there. And falling over there would be no fun. So, I need to do a little bit more work because this episode's almost over. And probably more of a focus on what to do next in the ep next episode. I don't particularly want to do an episode based on the Guardian Temple, even though my focus will be on the Guardian Temple for a little bit. Um, but before I attack it, I'm going to get some invisible f potions and also night breathing potions and also one other potion to make it all work. You see, this is completed when I was away. Excellent. So um, I'm going to figure out what we're going to do next episode, and I'm going to come back shortly and uh, tell you exactly what that's going to be. Not much more is going to happen in this episode, just more of a preparation for the next one, because um, having the Guardian Temple is, is something I've never really captured on camera and taken down uh, while making videos, so this should be interesting. I'm just going to build a basic farm, not the huge-ass farm where I can get... 800,000 things in two days. I'm just gonna get one that's like 15,000 every hour Which is still way more than I need so It's kind of uh, not needed to build that much But I mean you got to get the blocks somehow and if I'm gonna use those blocks, which I would love to use um, Gonna need to take that thing down So I'll be back. Hello. It's Keith from KMA's corner I know you know that because you've been watching a video for a little bit, but we are experiencing a severe thunderstorm warning right now in the land of KMA, Phil, world, whatever we want to call this world. <laughs> Actually, it's called Keith Plays Minecraft. But anyways, um, I don't know if you know this. I work. I'm an adult and I go to work every day. And what happens when I come home from work? I do work on Minecraft and play with my kid and play with my wife, wink wink, and do other stuff. But in my free time, I play Minecraft. But work has been coming a little bit more difficult lately because people are coming home or back down to Florida to hang out for the winter. So I have watched my mail volume. I work for the United States Postal Service and I deliver mail and case mail. And say last week, I used to go to work at seven in the morning. By 9.30, I would have all my mail cased. I'd be out on the road by 10 and back at the post office by one and ready to go home at one o'clock in the afternoon. And I did my family chores and stuff that you like to do for keeping a family running and all that good stuff and I would play some Minecraft and in the morning before work I'd wake up and I'd 
come down here and I'd make a video and do all sorts of good stuff with Minecraft. But unfortunately, people have been coming down to Florida a little bit earlier, so my normal case the mail from 7 to 9 30 10 o'clock in the morning two and a half three hours has turned to about seven or eight hours before i go and do a three hour delivery so last night i actually went to work came home and it was already bedtime so i didn't do any work on this world so i am slacking there but i also need to end this video because it is over 25 minutes long and it is very on the too long side so I was gonna probably do maybe an hour or so worth of work in the this world and show you what I did but I wasn't able to get on here last night because of work and all the people coming down and there is a particular time where things work out again um, because after a certain date they choose a certain date and these routes where a lot of people come down to <clears throat> because the town that I live in has lots of rich people very rich people fortune 500 owner type rich people and there's also very poor people the people who service the rich and there's a small income in the middle where I am which is considered middle class <clears throat> so um, at a certain point they the town kind of like burst its bubbles with the amount of people that are in the town and at that point the routes that get the most people that come down in this in the winter so the richer routes like the one I do split and half the route goes to another person for the winter and half the route stays with me uh, we haven't done that split that split doesn't happen until October 30th so uh, right now I'm dealing with a route bigger than normal bigger than the post office actually allows by law but they're able to do it for a little while because it will be split in on October 30th and that's when I go from heaven like 17 1800 customers that get you know extreme amounts of mail back down to an eight nine hundred customer manageable thing so the next couple of weeks or I should say the next month might be a little hectic and we might be having a little more of these conversations where I go, Shit, I did not get anything done. Hello, my name is Keith from KMA's Corner. <laughs> but on that note, I'm just giving you a heads up of what might happen. And I'm going to do my best to uh, keep the videos going until the routes split. But oh my god, I haven't had as much mail as I had yesterday as I've had in a very long time. And... Wow. So, nothing got done last night. Sorry about that. And it is the end of the video, so I am going to go and give you a heads up. I am going to work towards that. Um, what do we call those things? Those guardian temples. I'm going to actually first work on um, getting a border around it. Then I'll work on attacking it and making it uh, safe, like, on the inside. Then I will work on draining the outside part. But till then, have a good day. It's Keith. Thank you for listening to my, oh my god, I worked a little bit too much. And please forgive me for not doing any work last night on Minecraft. Goodbye.